I was just talking to you guys about Mike Tyson and his ability to coach. And I'm in the room here, one other guy in the room, Vince. And Vince asked me, he goes, you know, why, why do you say Mike Tyson's a good coach? Elaborate on that. That was interesting. And I, I just digressed on it because I was talking about Henry Cejudo. I saw he and Mike working together. But I have seen Tyson a number of times. I have one brief experience with him myself, where he came on the set of The Ultimate Fighter. One of our boxing coaches, Jamie Huey, pulled Mike aside, asked him a question. They spent about five to eight seconds on it. But even in that brief moment, I could see a knowledge but I also saw a rare ability to communicate that knowledge. I've then seen some videos of Mike going around the internet, the one where he's training with Henry most recently, but I've also seen him work with a couple of boxers, show the side to side why he's doing it, throw where you show this jab, show how you step around the body and why you do it. None of those things are complicated, even as I just said them to you now. To be able to communicate that is where the great coaches come in. I saw him working with Francis Ngannou, and he was showing some stuff to the body, how to come around, boom, how to work some of these jabs, some of these hooks, these liver shots. But again, even in that five to eight to 10 seconds that these clips are, Mike has an ability to communicate. Before you get too excited and think you're going to see the next wave of trainer in this world and Mike Tyson, it does come down to, does he want to do it? And it is very rare that a great athlete goes on to be a great coach. Coaching is selfless. You get nothing. You give everything. You don't get spotlight, name and headlight. You get nothing. It's all intrinsic value. There's a number of reasons that you would want to do that. But most of them in a broad stroke come to give him back. Somebody gave those skills to you. You never thanked that guy. Now you've got to give them to somebody else and pass it forward and hope that that guy just keeps continuing the lineage. That is largely what keeps sport alive. But you will generally have to be very selfless as a coach. To be a great athlete, you must be selfish to the highest of levels. Once you reach world championships and multiple world championships and sold out arenas like Mike Tyson did, it now becomes do I want to do all of those things? but in a lesser capacity. Very meaningful capacity, but in a lesser capacity, do I want to? That becomes the big question. And for the great coaches, the answer is yes. And for guys that you will see and view, and I got to put Mike in this category, in all fairness, I really do. He has a very special ability, not, for his, not just for his knowledge. He has a way to assess somebody, look at their body type and show them things within what he perceives to be their skill set. It could take a coach four or five years of working with an athlete to figure out how that athlete, because of his body type, his, his build and his stylistic approach, what is going to conform best technique wise to some of those natural physical attributes. I've seen Mike Tyson look somebody up and down one time and start showing him techniques, the right techniques that you would use for that, but not what he did. He can't go around showing people what he did. He had a unique power at a unique height with a, a unique range, known as his reach. So you can't go around showing the common man what he did. He has to show them techniques that he has learned that they will be able to do. It's a very incredible skill. And as I've seen Mike want to get back into the game in whatever capacity, and I accept his answer. Look, this is a cash grab. I'm trying to make a few bucks and people want to see me here. I'm going to go. I accept that. But as he's doing that, one of the ways to get better is to go out and show somebody else how to do it. You will learn things and you will have to break things down in a way that you do not do or have to do when somebody else is telling you what to do. When you are the athlete who is simply responding, you don't actually have to think about the intricacies to certain techniques. And I've heard a number of coaches say that. Say, you know, once I started coaching, I wish I was still given the opportunity to compete because I'm so much better now. Now I understand what it is I went out there and did. It's just fun. Watching Mike coach, watching him train, but watching the complete progression of the Mike Tyson comeback. Guys, it's fun.